And today I want to talk to you about how important it is to have a sufficient amount of protein in your daily meal plan. Now, I say sufficient, not an overabundance of protein every single day. And a lot of people have this misconception that they need to have tons and tons of protein in order to build these lean and toned muscles. So first, what is protein? Well, your body breaks down protein into amino acids and use those, uses those amino acids to build up your muscles. When you exercise, you're actually breaking down muscle. This doesn't mean that you need tons and tons of protein every single day and in every single meal. You should keep them at reasonable portions. Now, what's very important is that you need to have protein with every single one of your meals because it will help you burn fat. Protein releases a hormone called glucagon that does the exact opposite of insulin. So where insulin is a fat storing hormone, Glucagon is actually a fat burning hormone. So if you eat a serving or two servings or even three servings of protein with every single one of your meals, you're going to get this fat burning effect with your meals. It's also a blood sugar stabilizer. So when you eat a protein along with your carbohydrates, you help to keep your blood sugar stable. When you just eat carbohydrates without the protein, your blood sugar is constantly going through these highs and lows. So what foods constitute as good proteins? Whole organic eggs, organic grass-fed beef. I don't recommend having conventional beef because they really are filled with a lot of growth hormone and antibiotics. Natural free-range poultry, wild fish, and even some raw nuts and nut butters are really good sources of protein. So you want to make sure to include a serving of any of those foods with every single one of your meals. So let me give you a sample day. For breakfast, you would have two eggs, and then you would choose a carbohydrate that was a fruit or a vegetable to go along with that. You could make a spinach omelet, you can have an apple with it. For snack, I always include raw nuts or nut butter, like almond butter is my favorite, because that's easy to carry around and I can take it with me. For lunch, I always try and have either some wild salmon, some wild fish, or some poultry, some turkey, and it doesn't always have to be white meat. If you're buying these natural organic meats, you can have chicken thighs, chicken legs. Don't be afraid of some extra fat in that meat. For dinner, same thing. You can have a grass-fed organic steak, some more fish, some, some more poultry. So every single one of those meals had some protein in it. And again, you don't need to have a 14 ounce steak all at once. Anywhere from four to about seven or eight ounces, depending on your size, should be enough protein per meal. So that is how important it is for you to include a good, healthy, natural source of protein into each one of your meals. 